Hey everybody, this is Games Plus James, and welcome to a short little tutorial here, just looking at how uh, switching between scenes is changed in the latest version of Unity, Unity 5.3. So, I just have a quick little setup here, just uh, a basic little player, we've got a box to walk into, we've got two different scenes, one with a white background and one with a yellow background, just to show that we're switching between them. So, I have a script here just for controlling this, uh, a little level switch script, so I'm just going to open this up here, and the way that... Uh, switching between scenes has always been done previously in Unity is this application dot load level and whatever level you want to load. So I just have a little string in here for the name of the level to load. And in the latest version of Unity 5.3, which this one is here, that still works just fine. Um, but it, they've actually made it kind of obsolete. So that works fine. We can switch between their levels at the moment. Uh, but they've introduced a new way of handling this within Unity, which at the moment doesn't have to be used but will likely uh, mean that our application that levels load in future versions of unity will probably get phased out and won't actually work anymore so we need to uh, demonstrate what is the new way to do it because uh, previously in all my other video tutorial series we've used this way to load our levels so now we're using a new way so what we need to do is first of all much like for any kind of ui elements or anything like that we use we want to go up here and we want to type using Unity engine dot uh, scene oops, scene management. So <clears throat> the reason we have to do this now in Unity in within Unity is because we don't need every script within Unity to be able to load levels and stuff like that. So there's no need to have the ability to access the application in that way. Uh, so when we specifically want to be able to load levels, which very few of our scripts are going to want to do, uh, we need to include this here and use. A, a different but very similar way to load our levels. So all we have to do now, instead of application.load level, we can type in scene, uh, scene manager dot load scene, and in, in the brackets here, whatever name that we want to use. So we're still able to use our level to load string name. Uh, so we can just type in level to load there. Uh, but similarly, if we just pull it back here. And open the bracket we've got a few different options the same as what we had with application that load level we could use an int value for the number of the scene and we've all these other kind of different options too so we don't need to worry too much about them but it's just to cover the basics of how this will actually work now so now we can just type in our level to load there and put our semicolon at the end and if we go back into the game once that compiles we'll see if we play the game it'll work essentially the exact same and um, of course you need to still need to have your levels in your build manager all loaded in there like that um, but it, it'll just essentially it'll function the exact same way but it's kind of opening up to a better way of using it within unity so now we can see it does the exact same thing as soon as we enter that little box we get switched into our different areas within the game so I just wanted to make this quick video to show that within unity 5.3 we've got this new way of doing it and you want to kind of make sure that you're using the the proper method for doing it. For example, if we actually were to go back to try type in our application dot load level, what we'll actually see is we get these lines through it in this in the tooltip and that's telling us that this is the obsolete way to do it and there's a new scene manager uh, which will control how we're doing this stuff. So it's just important to stay up to date on how the latest versions of the most basic elements within Unity are actually working. Thanks for watching this episode, and I'll see you all very soon for some more Unity tutorial goodness. Thanks for checking out this episode, and if you want even more Games Plus James goodness, make sure you hit those subscribe and like buttons. You can also find me on Twitter and Facebook by following the links on screen, where you can find out all the latest news about the channel. And if you want to help support the show, check out the Patreon page, where you can get exclusive content in return for helping make the channel even better. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.